What's good, chosen ones? Grand rising to the divine ones, to the star seeds. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for the subscribers, guys. I believe we was at 50 subscribers, but we all know somebody took away a subscriber. So now we're still at, I think, 49, I believe, but it's all good. Uh, probably Decepticon, you know. <laughs> but it's all good. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys don't mind as we continue to go higher in the Lord. God bless everybody that came to this video. And I want to talk about something that's going to really, really bless your minds and bless your hearts today. And that is the bigger the blessing, the harder the enemy attacks. Understand what I'm saying? The bigger the blessing, the harder the enemy attacks. And you have to understand that when God gives you something, it's something that you pray for, it's something that you you cried out for, it's something that you got on your knees for, and we he had granted to you, you best believe that every time you go up a new level, you're gonna have to face a new devil. That's just the way it is. But I'm telling you, if God is for you. There's no devil on earth or no human being on earth can be against you. Not saying that everybody are devils or demons. I'm not saying that. But people have devilish spirits inside of them that needs to be brought out of them in the name of Jesus. But like I said, the bigger the blessing, I'm telling you, the harder the enemy attacks. He's going to come at you really, really hard. It can be spiritually it can be physically, it can be emotionally. The devil attacks harder. The higher you go in life, you know, the, the more people will envy you, the more people will be jealous of you, the more hatred you, you will begin to receive. But like I said, God's anointing over your life is so strong, can no devil in hell or no person on earth can block what God is going to do in your life. And I believe that in the name of Jesus. So what I'm saying right now, guys, please like this video. Share this video right now because I'm going in today, baby. I'm going in today because I'm letting you know right now, the bigger that blessing, the harder the enemy is going to attack. But it's okay. We have to be ready. You know that the blessings are coming your way. I'm going to tell you how you defeat the devil. I don't, I'm going to tell you how you defeat the attack of the enemy. But I want to say a prayer to start this little video, guys. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Father God. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. We ask you, God, that you continue to bless those that are watching my videos. Thank you, Lord, for the support, oh, God. Continue to bless families all over the world. Continue to use me under the sound of my voice, Father God. Help me to say the right thing, Father God, in the name of Jesus. So somebody might say, hey, what must I do to be saved, Father God? Thank you for the opportunity. We praise your holy name, Father God. I ask you that you will bless our day today and fill us up with your Holy Spirit, Father God, because we know that you get, you get all the praise and you get all the glory and all these many blessings that we ask, Father God, in Jesus' name. Let this word touch somebody's heart today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And all these many blessings we ask in Jesus' name, amen. So what I'm saying is, the bigger the blessing, the harder the enemy is going to attack you. And we got to stay on our P's and Q's, chosen ones. See, God put a certain kind of chip in each and every one of the chosen ones. And God is letting us know right now that I don't mind blessing you. I don't mind giving you the desires of your heart. But you have to know that the enemy is going to try to come and attack you in every area that he can. The devil is seeking whom he may devour, but we put the devil under our feet right now in the name of Jesus because we know that God has the last say so. No matter what the devil do, God has the last say so on this earth. So like I said, if you're watching this channel right now, guys, please subscribe to my channel. And I just want to let you guys know that just because the enemy attacks don't mean you give up. Just because the devil attack you in, a, in an area that you didn't think he was going to attack you don't mean you got to throw in the towel, guys. You guys are just starting your own business. And you know that devil going to come hard. You guys just got a new, a new jag. Just put up in a new jag, pull up in a new range. The devil ain't going to like that. 
Understand what I'm saying? People gonna know how did you get it? Where did you get it from? But they're never gonna pat you on the back when you get the blessing. Ain't that crazy? Soon as you get the blessing, they gonna ask you these three questions. How did you get it? Where did you get it from? And who gave it to you? <laughs> Instead of saying, hey, my brother, I'm happy for you. Hey, my sister, I'm happy for you. May God bless you and keep you as you continue to go higher in the Lord. They're not going to tell you that. They're going to watch. They're going to observe. They're going to ask other people questions of how did you get this and how did you get that? Or they're going to point it out. Oh, you got this or you got that. By the grace of God, my brother. So I'm telling you guys right now. When you get blessed with something, let's say your own business, don't put your name on your own business. Don't do it. Be humble. You get blessed with your own YouTube channel like myself, I'm starting to realize that, yes, I appreciate the subscribers, but you don't let, let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. People are going to see it eventually, but I do thank you guys for the support. I have 50 sub subscribers. Somebody unsubscribed me, which is fine. It's going to happen, but... I'm, I'm just letting you guys know right now What God has for me is just for me Ain't no devil in hell gonna stop it In the name of Jesus Because I know what I'm putting out You put out good seed It will grow You put out bad seeds Bad seeds will grow bad things And I thank God for his grace And his mercy Because he always Always there for me And just like I said guys don't let these people stop you from seeking God's face. Don't let these people stop you from putting the Lord first. You got to know who your Savior is, guys. You got to know who died on the cross for your sins. I'm telling you right now, the bigger the blessing, you just started your own business, you just put up in a new range, you just got a two-story home, you know that devil is going to attack every possible way he can. Whether it's through your best friend, it can be through your spouse, it can be through your marriage, it can be through church people, it can be through any anybody. It don't necessarily have to be through people, it can be through other things. You know, the enemy attacks it in any kind of way he can. It can be your health, it can be anything, man. The devil is a liar, and we put him under our feet in the name of of Jesus and that you will continue to grow in the fear and that mission of the Lord and you will continue to be blessed in the name of Jesus. So you guys, please like this video, guys. I need you guys to share this video right now because somebody really, really need to hear this video right now. Somebody just got blessed and they know that the enemy is going to try to attack, but we put the devil under our feet because we serve a God who sits high and who looks low. And like I said, if God is, is for you guys, who can be against you, man? Just think about it. Take a quick second, chosen ones, and think about who can really be against you. See, nobody really want to see you happy, man. Don't nobody want to see you happy. Don't nobody want to see you rejoicing in the Lord. Don't nobody want to see you praising the God and being happy and, and seeing how you make it out here in this life. Don't nobody want to see that. But God want to see it. And that's why God is going to exalt you. God is going to exalt your name upon, upon levels, upon levels, upon levels. You're going to continue to go higher and higher and higher and higher. And you're going to wonder, how, how am I getting this high? There's nothing but the grace of God. There's nothing but the favor of God on your life. Because when you got favor written all, all over your life, it don't matter what the enemy going to do or what he's trying to do. God will prevail. WTC gang, I need you to back me up because we are the chosen ones. And if any one of these messages resonate with your spirit right now, please hit that like button. They don't want to see you shine. They don't want to see me with this crown on my head or who he think he is. No, it's not about who I think I am. It's, 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 it's all about I know who I am. It's not about who I think I am. It's what I who I, who I know that God is creating me to be. I am God's child. I am the child of the Most High King. So I'm going to wear my crown. I'm going to wear it proudly. I got blessed with this crown. 
Actually, the bigger the blessing, the harder the enemy is going to attack. When I first bought this crown, the reactions, some of the reactions was good, but some of the reactions were bad. I got people literally walking up to me. I'm talking about the enemy. I'm talking about the enemy spiritually. It was like a spiritual attack was really coming to me. And if I would have said anything to the person or try to, you know, go back and forth with the person, he probably would have attacked me. All because I was wearing a crown over my head. So you have to be very careful of how the enemy would try to try to bamboozle and trick you and try to walk up on you. You got to be very careful. First, you have to be mentally strong. You have to be prayed up. You have to be uh, covered in the blood of Jesus. That's the first thing. Number two, the Bible says, be quick to hear and slow to speak. You don't always have to have a reaction to somebody saying something to you. You don't always have to have a response. The best response is no response. I mean, the guy really walked up to my car. I rolled my windows up and I had to get on to my next destination because I knew the enemy was it was attacking. I just got this crown. I put it on. God was telling me, you cannot wear this crown everywhere, my brother. God was showing me right there. He said, you cannot wear that crown everywhere. And I understand where he was coming from. There's a time and a place for all of this. And then I got some good reactions. I wore it at a restaurant. Yes, it draws a lot of attention because, you know, not a lot of guys really wear crowns like that. So you see a guy with the crown. You see he, care, he cares about himself. He carries himself with much respect, right? He carries himself with honor, with dignity, with loyalty. A God-fearing man, a king at the God's own heart. I'm telling you what I know and I'm telling you what I've witnessed. God is real, guys. So what I'm saying is the bigger the blessing, the harder the enemy is going to attack. You're going to get some friends that's going to turn their back on you, man. Your so-called friends, your best friend, your so-called family members. You might as well call them your associates. Because every time when God is getting ready to bless you with something, or the enemy, not, he's not going to like it. Oh, he's not going to like it at all. But there's nothing he can do about it. <laughs> because what God got for you is just for you. And there's nothing the enemy can do. And there's nothing he can do to try to take it away. And even if he do take the, the blessing away. Let's say, for example, God forbid, even if he do take the blessing away, like I, like I just told you guys. You can have my wallet. You can have the cars that I drive. You can have the jewelry that's around my neck, this crown that is on my head. But you cannot take my spirit. You cannot take my soul. I'm not ashamed of the God I serve. And I'm coming boldly before the throne of grace. Because none of us is perfect. Let's keep it winding right now. None of us is perfect. I know you see the crown. I know you see me uh, doing these videos and saying, oh, who he think he is? He think he's perfect? No, I'm not perfect. Only one man that was perfect, and that was Jesus Christ. That's the only man that was perfect on this earth. I'm just his servant. I'm just doing God's will. I'm not perfect. It's even in the word. No, not one is perfect. Not one human being on this, on this earth is perfect. I'm just letting you guys know that right now. None of us is perfect. Think about it. God had to bring me through some things in order to get me to where he want me to be. I have to go through some trials. I have to go through some tribulations in order to get God to bring me where I needed to be. And just like for everybody else, we're all on this Christian journey. Only things you do for Christ will last. So I, what I wanted to say is this, guys. The bigger the blessing, the harder the enemy attacks. Guess what happens when the enemy attacks? You keep praising the Lord. You keep seeking God. You keep putting out motivational videos. You keep, uh, 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 you know, upgrading your business. Get more clientele. Get more business revenues. Get a better car. Get a better house. 
Continue to do God's work. Continue to do God's will. Continue to love one another. Continue to pray with one another. That's what happens when the enemy attacks. You don't you don't do wrong with wrong. You treat wrong with right. Love your enemies. Pray for your enemies. For they know not what they do, guys. If you need a friend, you have it in me. If you need a, a prayer, you have a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation and inspiration, you have the best motivational speaker in me. I need you guys to back me up because the crowd that's coming up in here is it, it, looking pretty big. So WTC gang, I need you to back me up on this. And like I said in a previous video, if any one of these messages resonate with your spirit right now, please hit that like button. I need you to comment 1111 in the comments below if you're looking for new beginnings. I need you to comment 1111. I need you to share this video to somebody who really, really in need. ever doubt that man above he said he will never leave you nor he will forsake you in the name of Jesus and as I continue to do God's will I love you and there's nothing you can do about it we the chosen ones